Hey, what's the deal? How's everybody doing? You gotta excuse me, I just did a 12 hour shift coming from work and then after that, um, me and my coworker went to a So Well Lounge in Queens. So I just wanted to take the time to give my little rant, my opinion or testimony of a topic that a lot of my peers been wanting me to talk about. It's called the dating game of life. So sit back, relax. My name is Ronnell, AKA Chauncey Chestnut, the Harlem City Slicker. And hold on, let me write you a reality check. Let's go. Yeah, what's the deal? Um, like I said, this rant, opinion, testimony video was based on the dating game of life. Now, I feel this is a very important topic when it comes down to dating. These are the people that can lead up to friends, you know, especially dealing with the opposite sex or your lifelong partner. If you play it right, you know, who knows where it may happen. But I just wanted to talk about it. Like, you know, let's talk about dating, my opinion of dating. Um... I feel back in the day when he had the caveman, you know, non C woman, he likes women, he bash her in the head with a club, take her home, and there goes his maiden partner. But nowadays, in the new millennium, it's so much different. There's so many different forms of datings. And I just wanted to point out certain things that I have noticed from that time until now. Well, it's not prehistoric anymore. We have technology, we have Mutual friends, these are all things where you can meet up with people. So I'm um, fast forwarding it past the prehistoric days. People would meet in social gathering, what is the supermarket, laundromat, clubs, discos, or even introduced to a mutual friend. As time sped up, I remember one time there was a form of dating that um that I felt was kind of fun. Me being a young teenager was the the chat line. I basically you call up on the phone. You know, listen to some chicks, see if they're in your neighborhood, you possibly meet. The good thing about me and my homeboys that we liked about doing that, it was the thrill of not knowing who you were speaking to. This is before the camera phone days, the MySpace, the Facebook, all that. And then you have your good meetings, and then you have your bad meetings. Most of the meetings I have were bad meetings. Some of the females, you know, a majority, they was definitely impressed by, I guess, what they saw. But I had them off the conversational sense. And the good thing I liked about the chat line is even though you couldn't see that person, you get to see their personality. Because no matter where you meet a pers a female from, I'm talking from the guy's perspective, or females, it always comes down to conversation. You learn a lot about a person through conversation. But um, at that point, you know, some of them girls is looking better behind the phone, I, I guarantee. So now... Time passes, you got the camera phone thing, and a lot of that doesn't mean anything either. Some people will have fake pictures and all that. So, you know, um, there's many formal ways of meeting people. Um, as far as I wanted to touch on, like, you know, dealing with the opposite sex, you have to understand, um, you have to have three things, respect, attraction, and, um, and um, understanding. You know, those are things that I really feel are very important as far as dating. Men and women, we have different sides to us, what makes dating a little bit different. One thing that I notice about guys, we have our pride, B. We got our pride, you know what I'm saying? That's what gets to us. And females, they have that emotional factor. And um, sometimes I feel in life there's always a balance. So um, let's talk about a little bit of certain dating as we you know, sped up to the um, the new millennium. Um, it's crazy. 
it's crazy. It, it, it's so much. A lot of relationships aren't lasting. A lot of friendships don't even last. I'm pertaining from the opposite sex. One thing about me, I always feel you always want to build a friendship with somebody. Because if there is no love or passion, you will always maintain that friendship. That's something i always done. I have a lot of female friends, you know. I keep a lot of them around me. I'm very comfortable with females, and I think they're comfortable with me, and I'm not gay at all, you dig? And, um, you know, it's the understanding and the friendship, and it's on a mutual aspiratic. But the first thing is, is attraction. You know, a lot of us are pre prejudiced. You know, we judge by what we see. We judge by the money people make, or whatever. Mostly by the things we see. And females judge a person by the way they feel. Sometimes females, they don't even got to like a dude. They don't even got to like the way he look. But if they make them feel a certain way, it's all good. So um, one thing about that date, and they got to have the respect, understanding, and acknowledgement. And, you know, definitely, I feel attraction definitely catches a person's eye. Because, you know, females, I know for a fact, I know if y'all going to fuck a nigga. Excuse my language. If y'all going to fuck a nigga off jump. It all depends what that dude says. And men, we're attracted by beauty. So the more beautiful she is, the more crazy we're going to go after. And there's a big difference between tricking and chivalry. Tricking is for the guys, you know, who make it rain. You know what I'm saying? The first thing they, they do when they meet a female, they talk about their money, their weed, their liquor. That's all good, playboy, but at the end of the day, you got to present yourself. Because if I was a female, if a nigga throwing money at me, why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not? So you have to present yourself when it comes down to the dating. And as far as chivalry, the difference between a trick and, a sh and chivalry is the um, chivalry is for a female that I feel deserve. Tricking is like instant gratification and a lot of these females nowadays are very very superficial you know and i don't mind get your money baby but at the end of the day it's like you know men we can never be called hoes because we'll fuck a female off the strength we attracted to her you feel me females depending on the type of woman she is they'll do it for a cost and that's why we call y'all bitches and to help me understand this intermission I'm going to let my boy Tupac let it be known. You feel me? He had a song called Wonder Why You Call You Bitch. I'm going to let y'all hear that. This is for the bitches. There's a Wonder big difference between bitches bitch. and women. You wonder why they call you bitch. You wonder why they call you bitch. Bitch! You fucking bitch! And this is why we called you bitch. This is why we called you bitch. I bet you. But, like, there's a big difference between a woman, a strong woman, independent, go for hers, want to build. My boy Arsene said it, bitches need education. There's a big difference, just like there's a difference between real brothers and niggas. And I'm not talking about as far as the, as the race card. I'm talking about as far as mentality, um, the ignorance, and ignorance is bliss. Um, like I said, I can understand why most females do what they do. Like I said, they had a past generation where dudes was kicking, dragging, punching, cheating on the females. And you got a new generation of females like, listen, I'm not going to have my heart broken nor my face. So if a nigga wants some, which I know he do, he got to pay. And one thing about brothers, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, brothers are very logical and we not dumb. But we get stupid when we get rocket hard. You know what I'm saying? When a nigga dick is hard, niggas just start acting foolish. And that's when people make very foolish decisions. A lot of them niggas, I could tell they don't know how to use condoms. Because they fucking these bitches and nothing up in them. But it takes two. Two to tangle. I have a kid, I know. But it was with an a, a, a ex-girlfriend I was with for three and a half years and some change. So it didn't just happen. And my son, he was conceived out of love. And I know a lot of... Kids should be conceived through love and in their certain situations, but 
these are things that we have to understand because if not, it's broken homes, you know, baby father, baby mother. Like, I hate that term. I hate those baby mother, baby John is supposed to be husband and wife. You know, life is built on family, love and health. You know what I'm saying? This is what builds the next generation through love. But there's so many broken homes and, and fucked up despair, you know, that it, it's a, a cycle that's getting worse. And I'm not going to completely bring us. I, I blame society. I guess it's the media because one thing about me, I have a son. And I could tell my son, don't you do this. Don't do that. But a lot of people get their education and knowledge from seeing stuff. You know what I'm saying? So when you look at TV, when you look at society, a lot of people getting married for like two seconds and then it's over. Or then you look at these reality TV shows. Oh, my gosh. You got a lot of females living in classy houses or their boyfriends and such and such rappers and athletes. And these women are acting real stupid. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I, maybe it's the thrill or it's that inner attitude that they want to get out. But the controversy sells. The sex sells. And I, I see a lot of young girls, females, they like, yo, if they see their favorite celebrity acting like that, you know it's going to put an extra battery in their back to act like that. And like I said, it's not a good look. It's, 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 it diminished the values. And like I said, for the women or the bitches, like, I understand y'all females, y'all. Y'all mother earth, you know what I'm saying? Y'all the, the carriers of the of the children, of, of, the, of the babies. And I have much utmost respect for all y'all. But I'm going to just put it like this. You do what you do with your body is yours. But I tell you this, I know deep down every time y'all go to bed with a nigga that y'all don't love, not alone y'all don't like, on the real, you lose in value. You're losing value. You're losing a lot of value. And what's the difference between a hoe and a woman? They're the same person. The only difference is everybody knows who the hoe is fucking. You know, so please, ladies, take that in consideration. And God, stop gassing these females up. Tell them they're the sun, the stars, and the moon. And I'll do this. When you know you only want to fuck. Because I'm going to keep it real, ladies. There's something in us, guys. When we horny, we want to fuck, especially on Sundays. <laughs> we'll do anything to get that nut <clears throat> and the sad thing as soon as that nut oozes out of us be like hold on wait a minute <clears throat> I don't like this chick matter of fact get out of my house tooted and booted you know what I'm saying so save yourself the heartache or at least if you're gonna go to bed with somebody let it be somebody worth the while or y'all can have that respect cause that's what it's all about respect whether you do your one night stand your one two thing it's all about the respect and you have to love who loves you, which is yourself. Me personally, I'm single by choice, not by chance. Um, I'm a bachelor. But as my mentality changes, I don't hit the clubs up like I, like I normally do. And one thing about clubs, <clears throat> I can't get with a person who always want to go clubbing. Because guess what happens when you go to a club? You got liquor in the system. You got chicks running around with the tight ass dresses. You know what I'm saying? Loud music. What do you think people are there for? Love connection? Hell no. They trying to score. Bowling. So that's what it is when you go to the club. And when I see so many females dying to go in the club and they under 25. If you're under 25, I can respect the fact that, you know, you want to do your thing. You want to dance. Me, I like to go out there, but I ain't going to front. Because of the way the society and the music is, I could be minding my business. I hear Trey Songz or Kelly Rowland, and automatically I'm looking around to see what bitch I'm going to fuck this shit out of. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. And I'm a gentleman. A gangster, genius, and gentleman. I guess it's the G in me. But these are the things that I feel definitely have an influence on us. But we all have minds. We all have intelligence. You know, we, have, we know right from wrong. And when it comes to this day and things... Just the type of people you get with can affect and change your life. And you can affect and cha change theirs. So me, it's not that I'm not looking for a girlfriend. Because I feel I'm a great husband. Fuck boyfriend. I'm a great husband. I'm independent. I feel I'm good looking. I'm all right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a mentally intelligent. I'm, you know, I feel I'm physically know how to keep myself up, God willingly, and I get better day by day, and I'm a loving father. I just have not met a female that I can match with. 
And I'm different because I be thinking everybody think and move like me, which I know ain't true. And um, like I said, I keep a lot of females around me, and it's all about the respect. Some people, they could prejudge me, or, or they may think, because if a guy's around a whole bunch of girls, he's trying to fuck. I could, but I don't abuse it. You know, that's one thing about me. I don't abuse it, because I know the difference between friends and lovers. There's a big difference, and I'm a nigga, I done, real talk, I done, I done um, turn down pussy. Beautiful, good-looking pussy. Only because I knew it would fuck up my friendship. Because I know after I hit, I may not be. In, I know I'm not gonna be interested. So to save that friendship, I fall back, and that's respect from a man, a man, not a little boy, as a man. And I respect my women. I love them. I have a mother and I have a sister. God willing, I may have an unborn daughter in the next time I get with that right female. Because I believe in marriage, unity, family, and I'm going to get married one day. Not today, though. <laughs> Not today. We could take a rain check on the night. I'll be your husband for the night, baby. You know what I mean? I, yeah. But um, these are things that's very important. But if you have to love who loves you, um, have mental and a mental attraction, physical and spiritual, which is always that's going to remain and, and maintain an everlasting love because family is something that's very important. And just taking the time to get to know a person, see the ins and the out. This is why dating is very important. I see Facebook, a lot of girls getting in relationships. And just like they status update, it changes from relationship to complicated. Then they be hating on each other. Females be hating on each other. They be loving it when they be going through dramas with their so-called boyfriend. A lot of females nowadays is very envious. That girl power shit went out the window. They're very envious of each other, even if they're both beautiful. But my thing is, a female can never be a bitch if she have her own. Because there's three things men we love. Don't fuck with our money. We'll give you the money because a man, a king, is not complete without his queen. We don't really care about money. You know what I'm saying? We don't really care about that. But we do that to attract the females. Cars and chick magnets. I'm in New York. We got the Metro. If I got a car, yo, I'm fucking picking up mad females. Because that's a luxury in New York. Apartments is too expensive. Um, fuck, have sex, you know, and you got to have confidence in your sexual game. And one thing about sex, I noticed about most of these females, but real talk, a lot of these chicks I know that I know, they done lost their virginity. Like when they was like 12 years old, I can respect that curiosity. But the sad shit is they losing their virginity to niggas who's in their mid twenties and better. Like these niggas is pedophiles. Like what the fuck is that? I don't know if the R. Kelly wave done got mad little girls done on some old other shit. And I was back then. Now it's 2012. You got eight-year-olds fucking and shit. Which is a damn shame because they losing their innocence. You know? Losing your innocence. And this world is, is very demonic and, it, and it's, it's crazy. You know, I'm not the biggest Christian. I'm not trying to tell everybody to believe in God in this. But believe in something that's rightful. You know, something positive. Because this world is coming to an end. But anyway, we can save it with the power of love. Take your time in getting to know one another. Make sure you know yourself. Because one thing about me, like I said, it's not that I don't want a girlfriend. I want a woman and I deserve a wife. And I'm still focusing on me. And I can respect and understand and have enough knowledge to be honest with myself. So when it comes down to this date, and please be honest with yourself, and you can be honest with other people, and keep it real, and it'd be easy to show love. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting tired, but um, these are the things I just wanted to touch on, and you know, definitely show love, because that'll overpower hate. Take your time. Um, be mentally wise. Build, you know, whether it's your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit, or even your financial bank account. You know what I'm saying? And maintain. These are the things that's always going to become important because the people you date are the people that can be your potential mate. And these are the people that could potentially change your life and vice versa. So definitely I'm not going to take too much time. You know, just be careful what is the internet outside. Just use common sense. I'm not a Mr. Know-it-all, but I use a lot of common sense and that shit done save me money, time, and mishaps and I'm still learning every day so much love to all the men the women the aliens the Martians have love for yourself have love for each other and we can save the world with love all right so I just wanted to um to end it on that note and if you have any 
questions, comments, concerns, definitely hit me up and, and let me know. All right? So, um, it's another way. This is another um, testimony. And um, definitely thank God for watching. My name is George Chester. Juan L. A.K.A. The Harlem City Sticker. Thank God. And this is your reality check. Um, oh yeah, please leave a comment. And um, thank y'all for watching. I'm getting tired. Bye.